question here. How does Axiomatics differentiate from other policy-based access vendors? It feels like PBAC is, is becoming a thing. And certainly we hear the term PBAC a lot. We hear talk about policy. And I know that's something that um, you and the senior leadership team are very passionate about. So, so looking for your thoughts there, Jim. Yeah, it, again, um, no, no districts or abbreviations. Um, and you know, some of our, our vendors go out and try to redefine on, on what ABAC is or what PBAC is or what dynamic authorization is or orchestrated authorization. Um, we, right. we, and have for years, we comply and, and uh, supply all of those things, right? So uh, attribute-based access control is a term of which you would use policy, which has always been at the heart of our solution to deliver and say, based on these attributes, deliver a, a, an outcome. Um, so I, I don't think there's a differentiation there on which, which terminology um, you necessarily relate to. I do think that there is, um, I know that there is a, a strong differentiator for us uh, on the fact that um, when you look at the types of um, the speed at which you need to connect and apply a policy is a differentiator for us and the resiliency of the system itself uh, okay. for that to always be available. Um, I often talk recently about one of our, our great customers. They had a, uh, they're a large multinational uh, global banking institution, uh, millions of, of users, that we're fortunate to have and, and we provide authorization for them. They had an internal denial of a service uh, attack. Every system went down except axiomatics in that case, right? So when you talk about the ability to handle transactions, millions of transactions, um, and supply that back at the same speed that, of which users are used to from an authentication standpoint, that is super important. And that's a huge differentiator for us today. And I, I would add on to that, the types of policies we can put in place, right? So if you're a a security leader or, or an IEM leader and you're working with your development organization and you want to put together a very complex global policy that brings together multiple attributes and multiple levels, that's something that we, that we thrive in today.